this is a short video that is going to look at how to develop your body and balance them. Some exercises are going to help you deliver better martello and shapa. So if you develop the shapa and martello standing, then that will help all the moves that you use those kicks in from the floor. So you can do hole with martello, you can do full de mosego on the floor, you can do other things, but if you haven't got this bit right, it doesn't come out as well, okay? Simple exercises. So I've got the chair here, but I'm not really, I just wanna help use that to allow me to balance easy. So I'm not concentrating on my balancing leg, you know, I'm not concentrating on this. I'm looking at the other leg, so I use a chair. And we just lift the knee higher than the hip, okay? So it's quite a lot higher, okay? And you sit on the whole of the other foot. Make sure that you're, you're relaxed, yeah? Just sit here. And this knee position, you relax this, keeping the knee up high. And you repeat this on each leg. So. Okay, just lift the knee high. Relax the foot. The foot and this calf muscle, all, it's all just hanging. It's all relaxed, okay? What's, what's using is here, lifting up from the hip. Okay? And you can do this every day for a couple of days, so you're going to see the improvements. Then, from here, I'm going to try and keep the knee in the same place but you turn and support yourself this way now here you don't want to get all tense here you want to relax and just sit on that leg okay keep the knee high and again the foot relaxed knee high foot relaxed okay and you do that both sides you can do this a few times before you start kicking okay the knee lifts the important bit the knee positions and knees high, sitting down. Then we turn on the turn our body, our hips. Okay, and we're sitting on that leg. We want to keep this knee up and relaxed. And we'll check this his foot is relaxed. And just sit there. Okay, if you do this a few times, it's better because you can feel yourself stretching and uh, becoming more mobile. Then. There's a couple of other exercises that I, I normally do. And that's going through the kicks from this standing position. So here, look. I'm just going down. It's like a front kick, okay? Or benson. So it's the same position. High knee lift and down, okay? And after, you can do it a little bit as if you're going to put power into it, but just touch the floor. Down the mat. You just touch the floor. Not trying to put any power into it, just let the kick go. Okay, you can do that both sides, get your balance. You know, you can do it without that, without the chair, but the chair just helps you concentrate on what you're meant to be doing. When you practice without the chair, you're, you're also playing with your balance, which I don't want you to do at this, at this point. So, you've got the high knee lift, and you've got the front kick, you've got the the same thing here, but then you can also do it to the side, okay? And you look where you're going, and you're leaning slightly forward, okay? So that's the same here or here. If you could throw this kick here, then it's only flexibility that it's going to and strength that's going to stop you from throwing it properly to the body height, okay? Let's, let's have a look at that from the other side. Yeah, look. So you're here and the foot is relaxed and you just throw the kick down and you put your body weight into it, okay? Okay, and you go to the side. You see, I'm looking at the leg, not down the leg. That's it, okay? The other one is the martello. Well, you can practice this low, 
medium and high. High if you've got the flexibility. If you haven't, then we just stick to low and then build it up. You also get flexibility through this practice. Okay, so you get the knee lift first here and then return. Okay, and just relaxed. Just get the feeling that the, the position you would be to throw the kick. Okay, it's here. Relaxed. You can repeat that a few times. Nice and low, not high. Huh? Knee lift, turn, relax the foot, throw the kick. Okay? You repeat this, uh, I don't know, if you want to get to 50 times, it's good because you can develop this, this area. This is the bit you need to, the muscles need to get more mobile and flexible. You can bring that up a bit, you know, just bring it up a little bit. Make sure you, you know, to adapt it for capoeira, you want to be like a position like this, you know. So, you don't want to be too straight for capoeira. And you go here, yeah. I've got the knee lift, but now I'm looking close to my knee. And then, the same thing. Relaxed, eh? And you start feeling this position that okay and you do this a few times each side maybe 10 15 times and then change twice it's good huh? get the knee lift get your position relaxed 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 Okay, already you will start feeling the mobility and flexibility in this needed. And the last one for today, um, before we do the full kicks in another video, is to go through the motion that the kick goes out one and two. So you get the hook kick as well. So, or gunshot. Yeah, so you get your knee lift as normal. Turn to a martel, body position for capoeira. Relax shoulders here. One, two, one, two, relax. One, two. We're just, just going through the motions to hopefully improve your basic kicks. Yeah. Make sure you're in a good place for capoeira. Okay, one, two, one, two, one. So the other one's a hook kick. It's coming back. Okay, you do that once a day, you know, for a couple of weeks, and you start feeling the improvement. There's other things we can do here. When you take away the chair, you get something like a get a bottle and balance a tennis ball on it, and then you hold the tennis ball here, and then do the same exercises, and then you've got the knee to worry about the kicking leg, the supporting leg, and the ball, and it's quite a good exercise for those that really want to get it. Uh, one more is with the hop. So you do the same thing, but hop. Okay? And it's really going to help your basic kicks, Martello and Shapa. Hmm? Position, and then hop. Okay, in my experience, people that develop their kicks standing like this, when they then go to do martello in Hole or Bordo Mosego or Chapa uh, Hodal, when you're spinning 
sidekick, he comes out better because it's the kneeling. All about the kneeling, okay? Thank you. Please tick like and comment. Make requests if you're following these videos and it's something you want me to look at. Uh, it's, it's primarily it's for beginners. Uh, although I did get a nice comment the other day from a very advanced player saying he's learning from me, so really. Thank you.